Hi, my name is Ryan Bieber, and um, I'm with Other Avenues Food Cooperative. We're in the Outer Sunset District of San Francisco. We've been here for about 37 years now. Um, st we started from the food conspiracy movement with people kind of making group buys of food in their garages in order to save money. And we kind of sprang from the same, we sprouted from the same seed as Rainbow. Um, who's on the other side of town now. Um, I've only been involved with this co-op for a couple of years. I just moved to California from Wisconsin, and it's really fabulous. I hadn't had any experience prior to this with cooperatives and certainly not worker-owned businesses, and I can say that it's truly empowering. Um, it's really fantastic, the amount of opportunities that you have, I mean, especially in a smaller place. Um, I've been trained in, you know, many, many things already, and I feel like if I were to venture back out into the real world, um, it would be, I, I'd be pretty well prepared, but I don't see that happening anytime soon. The wonderful thing about living in California is that we have a fantastic array of produce, and we are, we're one of the few places in the city, I believe, that only sells organic produce. Um, which we're very proud of. It's it, it's really pretty easy again because we're in California, but we really love that aspect of our store and we love to only offer those sorts of really good pesticide-free options and also to make sure that everyone, or hopefully help to make sure that everyone along the food chain gets paid adequately for the work that they do. That's also very important to us. Um, we also have a very phenomenal bulk food section so people can get rid of packaging if they need to. Um, you can also you know, do a lot of experimenting with buying just a little bit of something if you don't want, if you're not sure what you want to do with it or something like that. It's a fantastic opportunity to do that. Um, and then we have a full organic grocery section and supplement section and gifts and all sorts of other things. But the main things I think that we're proud of are produce and our bulk section. I think um, it is especially a good time now. Um, so many people are kind of like struggling to find their way. And if those people can get together and realize that um, there are options available. Um, you know, you, you can really own and run your own business. It's not easy, um, but it is probably, I mean, I can say that it's the most empowering work experience that I've ever had. So uh, the, the opportunities are out there and to be able to to get together and make all your decisions and not not necessarily to be, be responsible for anyone but yourself is truly excellent. We're certainly not the only grocery store in town. There are many other options for our customers, but we, we have developed over the years a very devoted um, base of customers who will travel, who will go out of their way to come to us because they know that they can, they can trust that we're being as responsible as we can with their food and also that profit is not our main purpose. We are more, we're a lot more interested in sustaining the business and sustaining ourselves, giving ourselves the opportunity to enjoy our life. And um, so we're, we're constantly appreciative of this extra group of people. Um, we also had the opportunity a few years ago to buy the building that we are currently in. And we would not have been able to do that without a lot of um, microloans from community members. So we're, we're not only grateful to them, we're, we're actually indebted to a lot of them for helping us uh, maintain this longevity and keep, it, keep everything going for as long as it has. Mm -hmm.